All rights to this broadcast are reserved and any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or any other unauthorized use of this broadcast without the expressed written permission of the National Collegiate Roller Hockey Association is expressly prohibited. Mission Hockey Broadcast Center in Fargo, North Dakota. This is the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. This broadcast is being brought to you by Mission NLS. Built for the next generation. Bauer Hockey. The game starts here. Fargo Moorhead Convention and Visitors Bureau and Fargo Parks District. Fargo, north of normal. Find out more at FargoMoorhead.org. Inline Warehouse. Pro Shop Service at Warehouse Prices. Subway. Eat Fresh. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Nine Dragons. Go to Best Chinese Restaurant in Fargo, Moorhead. Slap Shot Pizza and Subs. Celebrating 40 years of serving you the very best. Fargo Billiards and Gastro Pub. You've got to see this place. Roller Hockey Live. For information on ordering today's game, go to rollerhockeylive.com. And the CJ Sports Network. The official audio provider of the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships. Now let's head down to the Mission Hockey Broadcast Center for coverage of today's game. And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome into the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. This is a final pool play game for the Division I field. This game will determine whether if Western Michigan will win the top seed in Pool D coming up later in about an hour or so. We are running about 15 minutes behind. Multiple overtime games have happened here today. Western Michigan currently sitting in third in Pool D. A win by Western Michigan would clinch them a spot at the first seed in the D pool. Puck now picked up with it is Grillo. Grillo now been pressured out. Picked up now by the other Grillo. Grillo, the brothers, Grillo brothers on the rink. Now sit back around, picked up by Western Michigan. Western Michigan with control is Josh Ward. Ward sending it back to Witherspoon. Witherspoon with possession. Now we'll send it back to Ward. Ward working in. We'll send a shot in. That is a blocker to side by the goaltender for Temple. That is Cody Baldwin. Now sent back around. Coming up next, Travis Vanotti will have Akron and Endicott followed by Arizona and San Jose State. Pair of D- Division II final round pool play matchups for those two, those four squads. Puck sent in off the side of the net. Temple coming to you courtesy of the ECRHA, the Eastern Collegiate Roller Hockey Association. Western Michigan coming out of the Midwest, the Midwestern Collegiate Roller Hockey League. Both of these teams finished in the lower tier of their respective Division I fields in regular season play. Western Michigan finished fourth as Puck now being battled for with 10-10 to go here in the first in this scoreless game. Puck sent back around. Now will be picked up. Well, it is Temple. It is Freebie. Freebie. With it down, we'll send it up the side dashers. Up to Harwin. Harwin loses control of the puck, where it's picked up now by Anderman. Anderman will send it across. It was picked up by Grady. Grady with possession, but the, the puck will be stolen away from him. Not picked up. Here comes Temple. Coming in two on four. Grillo will send it in on net. That is a steer to side. 
Grillo picks up the rebound, now being battled for back behind the net. Rebound put in in front. Another shot is sent in on net. That's covered up for the stoppage in play with 9.14 to go here. In the first, nothing, nothing is your score. Puck now dropped, sent over into the corner. Western Michigan comes in with a record of 2-0-1 so far in pool D play. Temple is currently 0 for 3. Grady battling for possession on the side dashers with William Eganoff. As it is controlled deeper, now stolen away. Here comes Anderman, back into the Temple zone. Anderman looking for an outlet, but the puck is poked away. He was with a two-on-one battle situation. A little bit of exchange words between the, the two Andermans. Now the puck goes back off the side of the net. 8.15 to go here in the first. Nothing, nothing is your score. Puck sitting bouncing out. Here's, here's a shot that is a stick to side into the corner. Picked up by Anderman off the rebound. Wraparound shot is a blockered out. And picked up by Temple, with it is Iganoff. Temple with possession, back behind Baldwin. In goal for Western Michigan is James Militex. Maslanka. Now we'll send it back, picked up. Here is Western Michigan. Western Michigan. The away team, 7.24 to go here. In the first, nothing, nothing is your score. As a puck. Continues to be played now off the faceoff. Picked up. Controlling it here is Temple. Temple with possession. Grillo. Send it over to Grillo. And picked up by Iganoff. Now sent back. And picked up. Well, this is Nicholas. Nicholas will receive the puck again as the puck is sent deeper. Into his own zone. Puck is sent in on net. And that is a blocker back aside. Now controlling it is Witherspoon. Witherspoon. Setting up the play, send it across. It is Western Michigan. Puck now picked up. Now the face off. With it is Grillo. Now, here is Western Michigan. The puck sent in, actually in on net, all the way from the other net. That steered aside. Now picked up. Western Michigan. Send it back into their own zone with 5.45 to go here in the first. Puck now sent in on net, steered aside. Puck. Popped up in the air, batted out where it's picked up by Temple. Temple now working back with it is Eganov, and a penalty will be coming up here. It will be on Western Michigan as Puck 
sent in as puck will be touched, so the penalty will be assessed with 5.15 to go here. Tripping will be the call. That's going to the send bin. Will be Anders Inblad. 5.15 to go here. Puck. Now sent in on net. That's gloved and held on to for the stoppage in play. Back to low zone faceoff on the right wing side. Now sent back. Picked up by Grillo. Grillo. Send it up. Now back to Grillo at the point. Grillo. Over to Ralph. Now back to Nicholas. Nicholas will send it in on net puck loose in front and covered up by Militex for the stoppage in play. With 4.48 to go here in the first, nothing, nothing is your score. Face off, freebie. We'll send it over to Nicholas. Nicholas starting to work back into Western Michigan. Up to Ralph. Ralph will send it in on net. That will be covered up by Militex for the stoppage. In play with 4.23 to go here. In the first, 108 remaining on the power play for the Owls. Off the face off. Sent up along the side, Dashers, where Nicholas is going to gain possession all the way back in their own zone. Nicholas, one of the Grillo brothers, now crossing center. Sent it in. Now back out to the point. Puck is knocked up in the air as the puck is sent in on net. That is a steer just aside. Going back to get it now is Iganov. Iganov doing battle. Joining in the battle is Ralph Grillo. With 20 seconds to go here. Power play, 3.30 to go here in the first. Puck drop now picked up by Ralph. Ralph will send it in on net. That's Walker to side cleared by Western Michigan all the way back into the Temple end. Puck now picked up. Here is Temple. Temple working in deeper. Now controlling it as the puck is blockered aside by Militex on that shot. Western Michigan successfully killed off that power play now. Working back into the Temple end with it is Witherspoon. Witherspoon will send it up into the netting above the glass for the stoppage in play with 2.55 to go here in the first two. 42 here, local time in Fargo, North Dakota at the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. 251 to go here in the first, nothing, nothing, your score. Zach working back in as a shot, sent up over the net off the inboards. Now will be sent back around. And here comes Temple, Temple. It's an overshot and a goal scored by Ralph Grillo. As Grillo will put the Temple Owls on the board first with 2.34 remaining here in the first period of play. So the face off, back out at center. Anders Imblad will regain possession. A win by Western Michigan will clinch the D-pool. A loss would clinch the D-pool for Cortland and clinch the third seed for Western Michigan. Temple, puck, backhanded in and a goal scored by Western Michigan with it is Evan Zach. 2.07 to go here in the first. It's now a 1-1 game. So 
So two quick goals scored within about 27 seconds of each other. Puck now picked up. Face off again. It is Imblad. Imblad will send it back to Witherspoon. Took a it strange bounce off the inboards and picked up again by Imblad. Imblad being pressured by Ralph Grillo. As Imblad now send the puck again. Took a strange bounce this time off the skates of Grillo. Puck now being battled for. Picked up by Temple. Temple sending in. We will have a penalty coming up. It will be on Western Michigan. Get the second penalty of this period, and it will be assessed with 120 remaining here in the first. Uh, it's going to the box. Will again be Anders Imblad. He was the first offender. Nice puck. Sent around. Now going back to pick up possession. Here is Ralph Grillo. Check that that is Nicholas Grillo. Now to Ralph. Ralph winds up. Shot kicked aside. Rebound. Sent into the corner. Well, where Ralph. We'll send it around to Freebie. Freebie. Send it back. Now picked up by Western Michigan. Western Michigan will clear all the way back. Played by, by Baldwin and picked up by Nicholas. Nicholas. We'll send it up. Now over to Freebie. Freebie. Nicholas. Back to Freebie now. Freebie will send it across to Ralph. Ralph Puck. Bouncing loose, couldn't get a good, couldn't, couldn't, good, good control of it. One minute to go. Picked up by Nicholas. On the power play, that is. As a shot is actually blocked it aside by Eganoff. This puck has bounced up in the air. Seven seconds to go, and it will be cleared out. And that is how this first period is going to come to an end. 1 1 through 1. Back with the second period of this final pool play game in Division I right after this. The National Collegiate Roller Hockey Association would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships. Mission NLS. Built for the next generation. Bauer Hockey. The game starts here. Fargo-Moorhead Convention and Visitors Bureau and Fargo Parks District. Fargo. North of normal. Find out more at FargoMoorhead.org. Inline Warehouse. Pro Shop Service at Warehouse Prices. Subway. Eat Fresh. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Nine Dragons. Go to Best Chinese Restaurant in Fargo, Moorhead. Slapshot Pizza and Subs. Celebrating 40 years of serving you the very best. Fargo Billiards and Gastro Pub. You've got to see this place. Roller Hockey Live. For information on ordering today's game, go to rollerhockeylive.com. And the CJ Sports Network. The official audio provider of the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships. And welcome back in. Second period. About to begin here. 40 seconds of carryover. On the power play. So the lower half of Pool A has also been determined here. Division I Michigan State has clinched the third seed in Pool A, Newman. Winless in Pool Play has clinched the fourth seed in Pool A. In Pool B, won by Farmingdale. Second place, Bethel. Third place, Grand Valley State. Fourth place, Westchester. And we'll go over the rest of the pools here in just a moment as this is the final pool play game in Division I. Ralph sent it in. That's gloved and held on to for the stoppage in play by Militex. Two 
Temple moving right to left. Western Michigan left to right. Five seconds left to puck. Cleared back out. Now picked up with it is Ward. Ward will send it across. As that is a blocker to side. Now picking up possession. Here is Temple. Temple winds up. Shot. Blocks out. Rebound still loose out in front. Now sent back behind the net. Temple had a wide open opportunity there, but before the Temple players could get there, the Western Michigan team cleared it back behind the net to clear the danger from happening. 10.50 to go here in the second. 1-1 one, one your score as a shot from Western Michigan is, is sent just wide. 10.40 to go here in the second. 1-1 one, one your score. Puck. I picked up Zach will send it in and he will score his second goal of the game with 10.35 to go here in the second. It is now a 2-1 lead courtesy of Evan Zach for the Western Michigan Broncos over the Temple Owls. Seapool has also finished up play winning Pool C is UC Santa Barbara. Second place will be Slippery Rock with four points. Florida Gulf Coast finished third with three points, and UMass finished last with a winless record in Pool C. Puck now picked up by Ralph. Check that Nicholas now sent over as a puck. Sent in on net, that is Maslanka. Maslanka will send it around. Now picked up by Western Michigan. Western Michigan with control is Anders Imblad. Imblad is controlling it now in the left wing, in the right wing corner. Deep in their own zone as Imblad working back up as a shot coming in. Puck still loose out in front. As Western Michigan now doing battle with the Temple player. I believe that is the 40 of Iganov. Battle raging beneath the former home of our of our crowd, Mike. Now picked up. Iganov. With possession, we'll send it in, and that's Glovton held on to for the stoppage in play with 9.14 to go here. In the second, two to one is your score. Travis Venati coming up next with a couple games featuring Akron and Endicott. Followed by Arizona and San Jose State. So stay tuned for that, that is coming up. Next, following this game, we are running a bit behind due to uh, multiple overtimes. Puck. Now picked up. Inblad. Send a shot. Now picked up by Ralph. Up to Nicholas. Off the still. Now up to Egonoff. Egonoff coming in. Backhanded shot. Steered aside. Good job. On, good save there by Militex. By the end of the night, we will be down to, to the final 12 teams. As pool, as bracket play begins tonight at 7.30. Western Michigan will send a puck in on that. Pucks to loose out in front. Now cleared back. Picked out in front. Shot and a goal scored by Grady. Josh Grady, that is. 8.21 to go here in the second. It is now 3-1 to one your score. Western Michigan over Temple. So the faceoff moves back out to center. Picked up by Temple. With it is Maslanka. Maslanka send it in on net. That's blockered back aside. Now sit back. Here is Western Michigan. Western Michigan. Michigan. 
So Enderman will get, and another shot and a goal scored by Western Michigan. Emblad gets on the scoreboard with 7.51 to go here in the second. Just like that, it is four to one, just, tw just 30 seconds later. So two goals so far have been scored by Evan Zach. One by Josh Grady and one by Anders Inblad. Witherspoon with possession. Now we sent back across. Now here is Western Michigan. Puck deflected into the corner now. Seven and a half to go here in the second. Four to one is your score. Puck's in in off the side of the net. That's steered aside by Baldwin. Western Michigan still in control of this game and of the puck. But it is Witherspoon. Witherspoon will send it up now out to the point. Evan Zach will send a shot. That's blocked aside. Now picked up by Witherspoon from Zach. Witherspoon winds up. Almost tipped in by Davis. But that goes just wide. Now controlled by Temple. Temple working back in the Western Michigan zone. With it is Ralph. Ralph sent it in on net as it is covered up for the stoppage in play. As we have a fracas, couple players on the ground, making sure that the towel is uh, completely down and done properly. So it looks like we're going to have coincidentals coming up here. As going to the box, for Western Michigan is Witherspoon and Ralph Grillo. So coincidentals called at 6.53 of the second. So those will be done at 4.53 plus a whistle. Puck now picked up. Here comes Ward, still at full strength. Back in it in and it goes in, oh my goodness, what an unfortunate goal scored by Western Michigan. If you're on the, the, the from the perspective of a Temple Owl, as Ward gets his number on the score sheet, with 6.46 to go here in the second, five to one now, your score. That was a rebound that was just not covered up as Baldwin lost sight of the puck. Puck now coming in, Ward again. Sends a shot off the post. Now back out, picked up. Here is Temple. Temple, with it is Grillo. Nicholas Grillo, he will send that in and that's a glove that held on to for the stoppage in play by James Militech. Low zone face off. Left wing side, five to one your score, six and a half to go here in the second. In the final pool play game here in division one. Freebie with possession. Now we'll send it in on net. Puck still loose out in front now, steered aside. And a good play by D. Here comes Western Michigan, but Harwin, good job on the D there to pick, pick up the battle. Battle now raging and it's sent out. And around the corner, are picking it up. Now is Eganoff. Eganoff coming back in with Nicholas Grillo. As Eganoff will send a shot that is punched aside. As we will have a penalty. I believe coming up here, our stoppage in play. It is a penalty. Being assessed to Western Michigan, that is a uh, Menagian with 5.54 to go here. In the second. As it is now a power play opportunity for the Temple Owls. They are currently 0 for 2 on the power play. Pucks in on net. Blocker to side. 
Now here is Western Michigan. Circling back behind Militex. Setting up their clearing play is it with honors Imblad. Imblad will send it up to Zach. Now back to Imblad, but Imblad blows a tire. Now picked up by Freebie for Temple as a shot is deflected by the skates of Evan Zach up into the netting for the stoppage. In play with 5.20 to go here in the second. 126 remaining on the power play for the Owls. 5-1 to one is your score in favor of the Western Michigan Broncos. Puck cleared by Western Michigan. Rolling with a bit of English all the way back down. Picked up by Baldwin. Nicholas Hirsch with possession. Nicholas Grillo, I mean. Nicholas Hirsch was in the prior game. Western Michigan steals the puck away. Now we'll send it across. We are roughly... Coincidentals are over. They will be done at the next whistle. As puck is sent in on net. And that is covered up for the stoppage in play with 4.43 to go here. In the second, 5-1 to one is your score. So the offending coincidental players are out of the box. 4.43 to go here. In the second, still 49 seconds left of power play time for Temple. Freebie will send it over to Nicholas. Back to Freebie. Freebie will send it in. I believe Witherspoon got a bit of the stick on it. Now picked up by Ralph. Ralph will send it in. Deflected off the side of the net as Ralph will pick up possession again. We'll send it through the, the inboards to Freebie. Freebie. With possession, sending bouncing across, picked up by Anderman, but stolen uh, by Western Michigan, actually. Imblad, working in, coming in one on three. Tries to send the puck through the leg of Nicholas Hirsch. Now picked up. Here comes Temple. Under four to go. Back to even strength hockey here. As the puck is sent up into the home bench for the stoppage and play with 3.43 to go here. In the second, 5-1 to one is your score. Travis Venati coming up next with a pair of Division II matchups. And then the rookie Scott coming back up after him with another pair of Division II matchups. Puck. Sent in on net. Now working back in as that goes just wide. Working back in, here comes Western Michigan. Golden opportunity for Grady but couldn't get in the proper position. Now picked up by Temple. Temple, send it up but stolen away by Grady, check that, that is the seven, yes, that is Grady, Grady will backhand it into Witherspoon. Witherspoon. Now working across. It's Puck, is sent up, bouncing into the corner. Now with possession, again, it is Evan Zach. Scored the first two goals of the game for this Western Michigan Bronco team. Puck now being corralled by Ward. Ward. Send it up, now picked up by Grady. Grady, back to Ward. Ward. Possession now, send it over to Zach. Zach, back to Anderman. Anderman sent it in on net. That is steered just wide now. Under two minutes to go here as the puck clearing attempt is sent up into the netting above the glass for the stoppage in play with 1.54 to go here. In the second, 5-1 to one is your score. Western Michigan over Temple. Puck. 
dropped. Now sent back around here. It's Temple trying to gain possession. They do. Now a behind the back pass by Mazlanka, but stolen away by Western Michigan. Western Michigan, puck is controlled by Ward. Ward will send it back up to O'Donnell. O'Donnell circling back behind Baldwin now under 90 seconds to go here in the second. Here's Western Michigan. Send it back as the puck is picked back up. We will have a penalty coming up here. Hooking will be the call with 1.12 to go here in the second. And believe the offending player is an owl. This is who? Me? 19. That is Mislanka. In the box for a hooking. Off the face off, it is controlled by Western Michigan. Puck now sent back in and unintentionally be cleared all the way back into the Western Michigan end. Here comes Ward. Back into the Temple end. This puck is sent in. Goes just wide of the net. Under a minute to go here in the second. 5-1 to one is your score. Western Michigan with control. Zach will send it back to Ward. Ward will now send it over into the corner to Davis. Davis. We'll send it in as, as Temple will clear the puck with 30 seconds to go back into the Western Michigan end. Western Michigan working back in on the power play for another minute and nine seconds. Puck now picked up by Zach. Zach winds up. Shot goes just wide of the net. Puck now picked up. Temple will attempt to clear but kept in by Ward. Ward, long pass over to Zach. Zach coming in will send a shot and a goal. Over the glove hand of Baldwin. That is a power play goal scored with 3.6 seconds to go here in the second. So that is Ward's second goal of the game. It is now 6-1 to one, your score. Run clock rule. Does apply here at the National national Championship Tournament. As the puck will be sent in on net as the buzzer sounds, and that will do it for this broad, this second period of play. Six to one, back with the final regulation period of this game coming up next. Can't be here in Fargo, but still want in on all of the coolest gear available for sale here at the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships in Fargo, North Dakota. Don't worry, just go to ncrha.org or ncrha.teamip.com to find the official apparel of the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships in Fargo, North Dakota. Want to see this game again? The good news is you can. All you need to do is go to rollerhockeylive.com and order this game. Your favorite team's entire tournament run and even player highlights are available for purchase. Just go to rollerhockeylive.com for more information. This is the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships presented by Mission Hockey and Bauer Hockey. And that horn sounds and means that the timeout in between periods is done. Final regulation period is set to begin here in Division I pool play action. One more time to mention it. I don't think it, it I don't think it's gonna happen here with the pace of play that I've seen out of Temple. But that's not to say that it could happen. So the face off it is controlled by Western Michigan. Overtime rules here in regulation at the end of regulation. Four minute three on three stop time overtime period. Should they be tied after that? Three round shootout, and then a sudden death shootout if they're still tied as a puck. It's an up into the netting above the glass for the stoppage in play. Once we get into bracket play later tonight, starting at 7.30 over on the mission rink, it is continuous 12 minute periods until somebody scores. Puck. Drop not picked up by Grillo. 
Grillo. Nicholas with possession back behind his own net. Western Michigan going from right to left. Temple left to right this period as it is now picked up. With it is Grady. Grady for Western Michigan. Send it back to Witherspoon. Witherspoon. Send it over. Anderman. Send it wide into the corner. Now will be picked up. Here is Western Michigan trying to get another goal on the board. Witherspoon winds up, sends a shot puck still loose out in front and covered up by ball one for the stoppage in play with 10.45 to go here in regulation. Six to one is your score. Headed for low zone faceoff, left wing side in the temple end. Now here is Temple working back into the Western Michigan, but stolen away. Ward coming in with Manasian. Now picked up by Zach. Zach Wilson in and out the post. Cleared out. Good job on the D there by Temple, but kept alive now by Ward. Ward working it back in his own zone. Sent it back and across as Temple will clear back out to center, but picked up again by Zach by Western Michigan. Zach back to Ward. Ward sent it in on net. That is deflected into the corner by a stick of a Temple player. Puck now being battled for. Deep in the corner in the left wing side of the Temple end. Puck back out. Here's Western Michigan controlling it now circling back. It is Evan Zach. Also back with Zach is Ward. Ward send it to Davis back to Ward now. Ward working in winds a shot and goes over the glove hand in the top corner. 924 to go here in regulation. It is now seven to one Western Michigan over Temple. That is an even strength goal. We are one goal away from a run clock, which will greatly help speed up how far behind we are here. As we get there, we're running about 15 to 20 minutes behind schedule over here on the Bauer rink. Now picked up. For those of you just joining us, expecting to watch and see Endicott and Akron. Again, we'll be coming up following this game. Travis Venati will be on the call of that. Now sent back around, picked up by Temple. Temple. So it is Evan Zach, not Ward. That is his hat trick goal. Puck some bouncing through Western Michigan with possession. Coming in as Ward will send it in, in on net. As Puck is poked out, picked up now by Temple. Temple working back in now with a modified two on one. Puck sent in on net, steered aside and covered up for the stoppage in play. 8-11 to go here in regulation. 7-1 is your score. Militex. Good job on the cover there. You can definitely tell the attitudes of music as related to each of our scorekeepers we will have throughout the weekend here. Puck now picked up. Sit back across. Others are rock, more rockish. Others are more 90s pop. Now, sent in. Now 7.40 to go here 
in regulation. Seven to one, your score. Now working back in is a shot. Sent up over the net. Picked up. Here is Witherspoon. Witherspoon. With possession. As we have a, a broken stick on the rink. As Puck is sent in on net, one of the refs picks up the stick and will uh, take it back to the appropriate bench. Witherspoon. Now controlling the puck, we'll send it back. And send it over to Imblad. Imblad, long pass up. First picked up momentarily by Anderman before a collision with Harwin. Knocks the puck away. Knocks him back across. Bland. Grady, I mean. We'll send it around. Now picked up. Here is Temple. Temple. Trying to gain possession, but now we'll send it back out. Here is Imblad again. One goal and we're in the run clock here in this game. If a team is up by seven, no matter what time of the game, the clock will continue to run until the end of the game, barring an injury issue. Puck sent in, and Witherspoon gets us to that magical number of seven. It is now eight to one. With 5.57 to go here in regulation, 8-1, to one, Western Michigan over Temple. Three seventeen here, local time. As we are in the run clock in this game, getting us closer to on time, ever so gingerly. Zach with possession. So Witherspoon does get credit for the eighth goal. Puck. Now picked up. Here is Temple working back in to the Western Michigan end. We'll send it across. Now with possession, here is Western Michigan. Coming back across. Now but Ward. Ward will send it just wide of the net. With this win by Western Michigan, Barring a miracle comeback by Temple, Western Michigan will clinch the first seed in D pool. As Puck now sent through the crease, picked up by Temple. This is the final pool play game in Pool D. As Puck goes through the crease into the corner, Temple. Has already clinched the fifth seed out of deep pool. And will face off in the playing game against Mizzou later on this evening at 7.30 over on Mission. And a penalty coming up here. It will be on Temple. Going to the box is Freebie with 4.03 remaining here in the contest. Low zone face off. Time officially of the penalty is 344. As a puck is sent in on net. And the power play goal scored with about 338 to go here. Very quick power play opportunity for Western Michigan. It's now 9 to 1 your score. It's the second power play goal scored. We'll wait to see who gets credit for the goal once they announce it.
as Travis Venati has joined me here getting ready for his broadcast of the division a pair of division two matchups Mr. Statman himself as I like to call him looking at his uh, beautifully laid out bracket Puck now picked up so Western Michigan with this win So Grady will get his second goal of the game. Two and a half to go here. Now working back in. Freebie trying to get another goal or, or get another point, another goal on the board for Temple. And that's Puck sent in on net. That's covered up for the stoppage and play with 2.13 and counting here in regulation. So first up. Western Michigan will clinch the number one seed in the D-Pool. Second seed will be Cortland. Third seed, Robert Morris. Fourth seed, Mizzou. And fifth seed, Temple. Temple and Mizzou will play later on this evening at 7.30 over on the Mission Rink in a play-in game. Winner of that game gets the opportunity to take on Lindenwood. Have fun. Then it's Westchester taking on UC Santa Barbara. Bethel taking on Western Michigan, the winner of this game and the winner of D-Pool. Michigan State taking on UMass Farmingdale, taking on Robert Morris, Newman, Slippery Rock. Arizona State, Cortland, and Grand Valley State taking on Florida Gulf Coast. Whew, that's, a, that's a lot of words to get out there pretty quick. Second round action also begins tonight. Penalty shot coming up here. Grady with the puck working in and a backhanded easy shot on the on that on the goaltender 136 to go it is now 10 to 1 as Grady will get the goal to make it 10 to 1 that is his hat trick goal Puck now picked up. Clock back running here. Western Michigan. Send it all the way back. As both teams uh, kind of content to uh, see this game come to an end without any injuries or any uh, other repercussions that may come out of this game. Puck now picked up. Here's Harwan. Harwan coming in. We'll send a shot that goes just wide. 37 seconds to go here. End of the game as the puck is sent in on net block. That rebound shot goes into the corner. 10 to 1 is your score. Under 30 to go. Harwan will send it in front of the net. Now picked up. Backhanded across. Picked up by O'Donnell. O'Donnell winds up. Sends a shot that is steered aside. Rebound. Bounce back out as Western Michigan will clear back into their own zone for the final 10 seconds of this game. And that, my friends, is how Division I pool play will come to an end. 10 to 1, Western Michigan over Temple. Western Michigan will win D pool and will face Bethel coming up tomorrow afternoon at 1.15 over on the Mission Rink. Until then, have a good evening. Travis Venati coming up next. This broadcast of the 2018 National Collegiate Roller Hockey Championships has been brought to you by Mission NLS. Built for the next generation. Bauer Hockey. The game starts here. Fargo-Moorhead Convention and Visitors Bureau and Fargo Parks District. Fargo, north of normal. Find out more at fargomoorhead.org. Inline Warehouse. Pro Shop Service at Warehouse Prices. Subway. Eat fresh. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. Beer. Sports. Nine Dragons. Go to Best Chinese Restaurant in Fargo, Moorhead. Slap Shot Pizza.